I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best Tyson's ever. Tyson's name is synonymous with ferocity, power, and fear. But have you ever wondered what goes on inside the mind of the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? My is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. In this video, we will delve into how Tyson's mindset and the guidance of his coach, the master of psychology, Customato, led him to master the art of psychology, both in and out of the ring. Tyson's childhood was far from easy, growing up in one of the most crime-ridden neighborhoods in Brooklyn, New York. His mother passed away when he was just 16 years old, and he turned to boxing as a way to challenge his anger and frustration. He was soon discovered by legendary trainer, Customato who became a father figure to Tyson and instilled in him a never-say-die attitude. He taught Tyson mental techniques to help him focus and overcome any obstacle that he may come in his way. In Tyson's words, Cus taught me to be mentally tough. He told me that fear was an illusion and that I had power to control my thoughts and emotions. The first day he even met me, the first day he met me, he took me in his house, he didn't even know me. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing and doing as well as, in, as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. Because I believe that a person dies when they no longer wants to live. But I have a reason with, with Mike here, and he gives me the motivation. I will stay alive. D'Amato was a legendary trainer, and he had a proven track record of success. He was responsible for training and coaching three world champions, heavyweight Floyd Patterson and Mike Tyson, and lightweight Jose Torres. Each of these fighters went on to achieve great success, and Tyson's rise to the top was due in large part to the lessons he learned from his training. Tyson's boxing skills were unmatched, and he quickly rose to fame as the youngest heavyweight champion in history. He was known for his relentless and aggressive style, striking fear into the heart of his opponents. I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confident I get. The closer, the more confident I get. The closer, the more confident I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one could beat me. However, it wasn't just his physical ability that made him a force to be reckoned with. Tyson had a fierce mindset that allowed him to overcome any obstacle that came his way. He had a deep understanding of the power of psychology in the ring, and how it could give him a distinct advantage over his opponents. D'Amato was a master of psychology, and he taught Tyson how to use it to his advantage in the ring. I'm a little kid, so you're gonna be the world champ. Why didn't he want you to show emotion? Was, did he equate it with weakness? I don't know what he did. I didn't know I was the one. Tyson was not only a physical powerhouse, but he was also a master of mind games. He understood the importance of getting inside his opponent's head and playing with their emotions. He would often use taunts and insults to distract and unsettle his opponents, giving him the upper hand. Tyson's psychological tactics were so effective that many of his opponents became intimidated before even stepping into the ring. His coach was a master of mind games, and he taught Tyson how to use this to his advantage in the ring. In D'Amato's words, quote, The mind is a powerful tool. If you can control it, you can control your opponents. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. He already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. Tyson's confidence was contagious, and it was this self-assurance that allowed him to overcome any obstacle. But before we get into it, I'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform that gives you access to thousands of videos about every topic you could imagine. Are you by chance interested in learning Spanish or another foreign language? Well, there's a course for that. Or maybe you're interested in gardening. Well, there's a course for that too. I personally really enjoyed the productivity course from Ali Abdal. It taught me to manage my time like a pro and also taught me about the Pareto Principle, or more commonly known as the 80-20 rule. I used to focus on things that would yield a small amount of results for a massive time investment, but now I do the opposite and focus on the things that require the least amount of work and yield the most results. I've actually seen my chess rating skyrocket as a result of using this rule and focusing on things that would improve me the most first. I highly recommend that you give Ali's course a go. I promise you won't be disappointed. 
Make sure to use our link in the description to get a month completely free and to support our channel. Or you can just use our code at checkout, which is AFF3OD3. It should be on screen now. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. He believed in himself and his abilities, and this unwavering faith allowed him to overcome adversity both in and out of the ring. Whether he was faced with a tough opponent or a personal setback, Tyson never let doubt get in his way. D'Amato taught Tyson the importance of confidence and how to maintain it even in the toughest of situations. In Tyson's words, quote, Cuss always told me to believe in myself, no matter what the world says. He said that if I had confidence, I could achieve anything. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head, he's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. He goes down, he's out. I'm victorious. Mike Tyson, greatest fighter that ever lived. Mental toughness played a crucial role in Tyson's success. He was known for his incredible mental toughness, which allowed him to overcome any obstacle in the ring. He built mental toughness through grueling training sessions, pushing himself to the brink of exhaustion. DeMonto taught Tyson the importance of mental toughness and how to develop it, including pushing him out of his comfort zone and reminding him to never give up. In DeMonto's words, quote, A champion is someone who gets up when they can't. Tyson would often recite positive affirmations and remind himself of his victories to give him confidence. His mental toughness has inspired other fighters to develop their own and push themselves to their limits. The lesson we can learn from Tyson and DeMontos on mental toughness are invaluable and can be both applied to the ring and life's challenges. Remember to push yourself, never give up, and always believe in yourself. Tyson understood the importance of positive thinking and how it could help him overcome any obstacle. He believed that the mind is a powerful tool and that a positive mindset could help him to achieve his goals. Tyson would often remind himself of his victories and focus on the positive, even in the toughest of situations. DeMonto taught Tyson the importance of positive thinking and how to maintain a positive outlook in the face of adversity. In Tyson's words, quote, Cuss always told me to focus on the positive, to see the glass as half full, not half empty. Tyson was a firm believer in self-reflection and how it could help him grow and develop as a person. He would often take time to reflect on his thoughts, emotions, and actions, and how he could improve himself. This self-reflection allowed Tyson to grow and mature as a person. His coach taught him the importance of self-reflection and how to use it to improve himself both in and out of the ring. In DeMonto's words, quote, The greatest journey you can take is the journey within. It is only through self-reflection that you can truly understand yourself. In conclusion, Mike Tyson's mindset and the guidance of his coach, Cus DeMonto, have had a profound impact on the world of boxing and the way we think about psychology. Tyson has proven that with the right mindset and psychological techniques, anything is possible. When you're a fighter in the ring, or just looking to achieve your goals in life, the lessons we can learn from Tyson and DeMonto are invaluable. So remember to focus on the positive, visualize your success, and always believe in yourself. Thank you for watching.